Welcome back guys, and I'm glad to have you back. So today is the first day of fall, so we are starting off fall videos, and in this first video that we're doing, we're doing a video on jungle cord, or jungle cordage. Anyways, I got you guys on my new tripod right now, and I kinda, I, uh, I bought this off of Amazon, it's about 20 bucks, but it's, uh, it's like a big long selfie stick, and uh, I can draw you guys in close. I can extend you guys out. But um, <laughs> just gonna have a little fun with it. Okay, <laughs> back to it. We're doing a video on jungle cordage. And if you saw in my videos I did over the summer, the M2023 series, Survival Rig Hot Weather, we use jungle cordage for our ridge line for our poncho uh, A-frame shelter setup. And that worked great. However, I want to show you guys how to make that cordage, but I also am making this a little bit different than how that cordage was made. That cordage was made just strictly for ridge lines, for cooking over fires, etc., etc. This cordage that we're going to do is going to be made for emergency survival climbing. At least I think that's what it's going to be used for. <laughs> I've never done this before, so uh, this is kind of an experiment. So I'm glad to have you guys along. And we're gonna go ahead and make this and we're gonna do some climbing today. All right, here we have, it's called, the brand is Tough Grid. And for the jungle cord that I used for my ridge line and camping, or my ridge line and for, if you wanted to say, you know, cooking over it, but I only demonstrate how to use it for a ridge line. Um, I used 550 cord for that. But in this one, we're using 750 pound cord. So, uh, because it's gonna be made for climbing. So this is going to be a lot stronger than a 550 cord. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this hank of 100 foot. It's a 100 foot hank. And we are going to split this in half to 50 foot. So that way we're doubling up the cord. Then here we have a carabiner. And it's for climbing and mountaineering, mountaineering use only. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But we're going to need that, hammer, and a nail. So we're gonna take this cord, it's 100 foot, and we're gonna make 50 foot out of it. So we are gonna split it in half. Okay, I got the cord all out and unstrung, or untangled, because <laughs> it got tangled up on me when I pulled it out of the package. But there's what I mean by doubling the cord up. And that gives us two, or two cords, one with 750 and the other 750. So that gives us a strength of 1500 pounds I weigh about 240 so when I'm getting on this it's gonna stretch a little bit but I'm hoping it's gonna work so there you go you double those up and now what you're gonna do basically is you just want to tie a knot on the end just basically an overhand knot like that like you're tying your shoes or something And that's going to be our starting point for this climbing jungle cord. Okay, the end that we just tied a knot on is going to go around that nail that we just hammered into the stump. And that right there is what we're going to work off of to make this climbing jungle cord. Okay, so we're at the end of our cord, and that's what it should look like. And um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to start making our jungle cord. And you're going to take a hand width like that. And if you have smaller hands, you probably want to go maybe quite a few times with this. But we'll start off with one hand width like that, another hand width, and we're going to go another hand width. That's three hand widths. I have pretty big hands. So that's how we're going to determine our knot for this jungle cord. So you just take it, overhand, 
and through the hoop. Pull that tight. And what that does is that gives us our gap, which is like about twice the size of a regular jungle core gap. And that's what our foot's gonna go in. So that should be plenty of room for my foot. And you gotta keep in mind, uh, paracord stretches a little bit. So I don't wanna make it too big because I know it's gonna stretch. So let's start off. So we will continue with that. Starting at that knot we just made. Grab with one hand, another hand, another hand, and continue to make your knots. And then that's gonna give you that jungle cord. So we'll continue that all the way down until we get to the end. I've been doing is I've noticed that it's not as big as I really want it to be so I'm just adding a little thumb length right here to it and then we'll just grab that and continue <laughs> to make our knots but so far everything's working out pretty good and this is an experiment so uh, we'll do a disclaimer uh, a disclaimer here in a minute <laughs> So yeah, like I said, you just want to make sure you pull away. And that way you're getting that full length of the loop. So continue on, carry on. Here we are. There's the stump. So we're getting we're getting close. Okay, so we got our quarters all done. I tied up a couple of smaller knots up there. And we're gonna take that mountaineering carabiner that's made for mountaineering climbing. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna carabine that in there like that. Then what I'm gonna do is kinda like a, I'm gonna throw it over the, I'm gonna throw it over the tree or whatever we're gonna climb. I think we're gonna climb a tree. So that's about all I have around here. <laughs> but, uh. We're gonna loop that around the tree, and then I'll come back through the carabiner, and uh, I think that's gonna work. So, the one thing you're gonna have to remember, well, I just realized it, is that you're only gonna be able to climb as high as you can throw this around a tree branch that you're gonna climb, or whatever you're gonna climb. So, if you can't throw this as high as you wanna climb, you probably ain't gonna climb nowhere. So, we're gonna get around this. I have this soft maple tree here in my yard, and it's not real high up but it's safe enough to go ahead and do a practice test with this. So I'm not being ignorant on what I'm doing. There we go. All right. Okay, so now I want to get my cord and I'm going to roll it, throw it, or put it through the carabiner like that it's actually going right over pretty smooth that's good I was thinking the knots were gonna grab on it but nope. I should be able to just to pull that tight and it worked awesome 
we are ready to climb. Now, I want to give you guys a disclaimer right now. I am no expert. I am no rock climber. I'm not suggesting you do this. <laughs> I'm simply just trying to experiment out on my own property and do my own thing. Now, we'll get this done and see if it works. It might not even work, but we're about to find out. So, don't try this at home. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, if I get that loose. Nope. Okay, that was trial and error. That did not work. And the problem I had is when I was putting tension on it, I couldn't get my fingers through to the next one. Not even that, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to get my feet into these little slots. And I had that feeling it was going to happen because you're pulling all that tension on there. And I'm 240 pounds. But that's okay. I think we can try something different. I realized is if I double this up like this, I can cut me some fresh branches, green branches that are going to be strong enough to hold my weight. And I, I can make a ladder system and we can try it that way. So uh, let me get some wood cut up and I'll get back with you. That's why you never give up. Okay, I got some pretty fresh sticks here cut up from uh, some mulberry trees I've been cutting down in my yard and then basically what I did is I just threw the loop over the branch like that and I just tied it off there on the uh, carabiner so we're gonna make this a ladder system I think this is gonna work I think this will work yeah there we go So here it is. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be interesting. And I got a ladder on the other side so I can get down. So let's give this a shot guys. Let's try this here. See if this is gonna work. see another one up here. Something like a dry log. There we go. Okay. We did it okay guys we made it in the tree it worked but um one thing you gotta keep in mind oh i got miss angel survival behind the camera too the one thing you gotta keep in mind is that once you're up in the tree you're probably not gonna be able to get back get back down to using this it's possible if you look here there's still a few logs on there i can climb back down with but most generally you're not gonna get back down using this type system that's why it's for uh, emergency survival situations only but it got me in the tree so if i was going to do anything else i just keep going up but uh like i said this is emergencies only it's not emergency so it worked okay angel survival suggested i go back down the ladder way so we're just going to try it so here i go this branch is Pretty solid. Yeah. 
Don't hurt yourself. Okay. Come on. Ooh-wee. There you go. Woo, you go. Scotty Woo. survival. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of scraping on the arms, but not bad. <laughs> cool. That worked. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you guys have it. We improvised, but um, it's not really what I had planned. But I had a feeling that the first, I the first way I was gonna do this wasn't gonna work, and it, of course, it didn't. Now I think something that might work better. This still worked, but I think something that might work better. It's just using regular jungle cord loops, like like I do for my ridge lines. Don't make them wide. The only reason why I made them wider is because I thought my feet were gonna be able to go through them, but that didn't work. So the only way this is gonna really work is with a ladder system. And uh, that's what this is basically. So for emergency use only. <laughs> so uh, guys, I think that's it. So we tried the experiment out, it worked. Um, you know, like I said, if you're going to be climbing with this, you're more than likely might not be able to get back down. So it's always gonna be a thing that you use for emergencies and survival situations. And if you're only going up and you're gonna keep going up. But like I said, this is not a very safe technique to use whatsoever, but survival situation, you might need it. But I didn't tell you that. I'm just showing you what I can do. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> so guys, uh, if you have any, uh, well actually if you would, please leave some comments below. I need tips, ideas. I think I'm gonna continue to use this system and uh for future videos if i can think of anything else to do with it so guys thank you and um, i will see you guys soon in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like share and subscribe and until then i'll see you guys next time god bless take care bye